Yeah. Well, it's pretty hard to follow that uh, demo reel, especially with uh, what I did, which was very run and gun um, and, um, and shot really quickly. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about my background, where I'm coming from. Um, I used to shoot uh, 16 and 35 for years. I owned uh, <clears throat> Airy cameras, and um, uh, I also um, owned uh, the original Vericam, and I loved that. Um, loved the colors and the subtlety, and it was it seemed a lot more uh, filmic than some of the other cameras that were around at the time. I used it for a documentary, um, U.S. versus John Lennon, for example, and. Um, uh, I was a very early adopter of the RED camera, as some people here know. And, um, uh, you know, uh, I thought that the RED uh, was a great tool. Uh, did a lot of indie movies with it, and it does work really well for that. But um, I need to do a lot of other different kinds of jobs uh, in order to make a living these days. And I'm doing a lot of television. And um, uh, the REDs uh, were a little taxing on the post-production for some of the things. so. Um, Producers were starting to ask for different cameras, and I decided to sell my Reds. I did that recently. Um, and I've been talking to Panasonic for a long time about, uh, you know, why don't they uh, come up with a large single sensor camera? I've been uh, uh, advising the, uh, the engineers, and I've been bugging them, uh, when can I get my hands on this camera when I uh, found out about it? And then one day, Doug Layton calls up, and he says, you can have it for two days. Well, the two days that uh, that it was available, I was really busy those days, and I didn't have very much time I could devote to it. So um, I invited a couple friends, uh, uh, cinematographers who are actually uh, shooting for us today, uh, Scott McDonald and uh, David Malman, SOC, uh, to come out with me and uh, uh, shoot this little, um, you know, just to play around with the camera, get familiar with it, and uh, literally, we each shot uh, an afternoon, a little bit of, of evening, for about two hours each. So about four hours altogether. Uh, we went out, and uh, the camera was very rough. Uh, you'll see the the night shots that we did. The low light stuff uh, was 4,000 ASA, and I've come to understand that uh, 5,000 is actually the better way to do it. But uh, uh, it still looks pretty darn good. I think you'll agree. And um, but you know, I was really impressed with the. Um, the sensitivity of the camera, the, um, the dynamic range. Uh, but, you know, I'm cameraman out of post guy, but uh, I did my own post on this thing and I was amazed how easy it was. I took it back uh, and first everything that we shot was all only uh, 28 gigabytes. Um, and uh, that took just a couple minutes uh, to transfer over uh, with the uh, Mac Pro. I opened it up in uh, uh, premiere and uh, I edited this little thing. It's only 30 seconds long, but in uh, 20 minutes And that's the 4000 ASA that you'll see there A lot of it was handheld you'll see it's a little you know shaky, but uh, and I wasn't you know I, I was trying to break the camera you might say shooting right into a hard reflection like that but uh, It's easy there's nothing that's lit here. This is all available light. Uh, so it's not like the stunning demo reel, but uh, I just wanted to make the point of how easy it is, this camera, for not only shooting, but uh, post-production. And uh, Michael, you want to yeah, make you know, some points about the... It's, uh, it's, and that's why it's a really apropos for what we're talking about, because post-production workflow is now a factor. I don't know if some of you will say that's good, some of it's bad, some of you are indifferent. Post-production, but this is the truth, whether or not you like it or not is a different story. Post-production is now a factor in a camera choice. It plays a role. It is not the most important role by any means, but it plays a role. It's a contributor to decisions. And so cameras have good reputations and bad reputations when it comes to post-production, and that can influence whether or not a camera's popularity goes up or goes down over time. What I really love about um, the ABC Ultra Codec and Vericam is if I uh, show you this and I, I just click on any of the takes here, these are all uh, his uh, different takes here, and I go to the metadata, if you look right here, I'm actually loading in the 4K media. This isn't a proxy, this isn't a transcode, this isn't a down conversion, this is a 4K file. This is one of the major advantages of modern 
NLEs like Premier, which don't require trans codes and don't care. And it's, it's coupled with an advantage. Again, I'll hit play here. There's a 4K timeline. And as Jim said, you can just drag and drop your materials here, or you could um, uh, create files and transcode them if you wanted to. That's totally fine and acceptable. But the fact that you don't have to is fantastic. And this doesn't require any special external hardware, so you don't need acceleration with this, and you don't actually need um, uh, like, uh, a, a, like a special update to Premiere. This is part of the standard package. So it's pretty cool that it literally is plug and play. Which Compression is actually what, isn't always a bad word. It's not always a bad word. You're absolutely right. Um, you're I mean, it right. just makes it so easy. Yeah. And, um, you know, I like to shoot raw, but they have a raw recorder that's, uh, that's coming that Sarah's going to tell you about. So, uh, uh, you know, it's for me, having been a red guy, <laughs> um, it's just a stunning contrast, you know, mm -hmm. of, of how easy it is and not to have to go through all those extra steps. And I don't want to say anything bad about red. I, I do. I do. I am a fan of those cameras. But uh, this is, uh, you know, it's, it's in, impressive how easy it was. Yeah, and this has the, uh, the look uh, from the dailies now applied. So this isn't a color corrected result. We're just demonstrating an offline solution that is actually achievable of anybody. Let's give Jim a round for that oh, section. Thank you. Thank you.